Hello everybody, Haunted William here, back with another video for the Halloween 2020 season, and I have some exciting news for you guys today. I actually got a toxic waste basket, and I have a new strobe light from Spirit inside of it, and I also hooked up the fog machine inside of it, and we're gonna make it go off. So this is kinda gonna be for Hazmat Zombie, I was thinking about doing it for uh, just uh, getting Super Varmint, but I'm probably gonna put it in this instead. So that's gonna be pretty cool, and then I'm gonna have it hooked up. I don't know how, I'm probably gonna put it over there. I'm probably not gonna put it here, probably gonna get an extension cord, but still looks really cool nonetheless right here. Uh, I have my box for my broken hex, which I'm gonna be sending out soon because my hex broke. Uh, there's my broken uh, death row, which I actually am giving to someone on Marketplace tomorrow. I'm PayPaling it to them. So he's not going to be in the display this year, sadly, but uh, hopefully I'll get a new one in the future. Uh, like an old model. And then here are all the zombie babies and all the uh, terror toys and the meme head and the giant uh, fight fisher crate. And then over here I have the pop-up grave zombie. Um, oops, sorry for the blur. Let me try. Yep, it, it adjusted. And right here is for uh, Halloween Fan 101. I don't really like Pop-Up Grave Zombie that much, and I really like... And uh, Chris is a really good friend, so I'm gonna be giving him Pop-Up Grave Zombie in exchange for a Demonica Zombie Baby. I know it's not really worth it, but uh, I just feel like I'm being... I should be nice to people and stuff like that, and uh, yeah. And I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Pop-Up Grave Zombie either. I don't know why I got him back in 2015. So yeah, let's hook up the fog machine and let's see what happens. All right guys, so I got the fog hooked up and then I have the remote control right here and I believe this is the on one, so let's go. Should be going any second now. Let's see if it goes. Oh, I think it needs to. Here we go. Oh my god, that's so sick. Do you guys see this? Oh my god, that is so awesome. That is really cool, you guys. It smells like pumpkin spice also because I have the pumpkin spice scent. I wish they had like a toxic waste barrel type scent, but they don't have that, so I might just go with pumpkin spice just to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, very bad joke, but um, just for it to smell good and stuff like that and for it to not smell that bad and it wouldn't really fit with cotton candy either and this is like a farm type theme this year, so yeah, pumpkin spice would kind of make some sense. Alright, let's do it again. I don't know if it has to wait or if it still can go. As you can see, there's a strobe light right there. And then we also have the uh, thing right here, the fog juice. All right, and let's do it. This is so cool, you guys. I can't tell you how cool this is. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much fog, you guys. Oh my god. And it's finally over. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is absolutely ridiculous. Let's look inside of it. Oh, it's all foggy inside of there. I can hardly even see anything. I can't even see the fog machine. Oh my god. Well, anyway, guys, this is the end of the Haunt Build 2, Part 2, for, and I finally came up with a name. It's going to be the Pumpkin Patch of Souls, which is a pretty cool name. I know that Liam, or, uh, jeez, oh, I forgot his name, but he, he did the same haunt. Uh, he had the same haunt name, but uh, it's a very cool name, and I really do uh, appreciate that I got the permission to uh, be able to um, use that name from Liam, so thank you Liam, and uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and this is going to be it for part two of the Pumpkin Patch of Souls haunt build, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later, goodbye.